this I, I love this guy. I think he's he's one who's on my plans for future game weeks. But the way Conte is maybe tightened up that Spurs defence, this isn't the week to get him. He's Lemon and Herb. Avoid. Uh, this is Kof FPL and you're watching Chasing Green Arrows and this is the Source Meter. Calvert-Lewin, I think I'm putting him as a, as a medium. I think he can go one of two ways, but it's that new manager bounce. I think Lampard can get a bit of a tune out of him. I mean, he's still a talisman. I think Everton have recruited well with Ali and Van der Beek. Um, but I think it's a must wing kind of Newcastle need to get something from this game. I think it's a tough trip. And actually, I've got Calvert-Lewin in my team right now, but i got a feeling he's not going to score. So he's, he's a medium. He's a medium to Lemon and Herb, actually. Yeah, well, Watford's still out the clean sheet. I think uh, Zuma being back to the, the West Ham defence is massive. So I, I do quite fancy a West Ham clean sheet. And as we know, you know, with Cresswell, his, his, his crossing abilities, his set pieces, he can always nick an assist or two. So, yeah, I think he's medium to hot. Yeah, I think, uh, obviously, Ralph Ranić likes him. I think he's going head-to-head -head now for that left-wing spot with, uh, with Rashford. So it, it does worry me slightly that there could be some rotation ahead. Um, but, I mean, 4.8 million, he's a, he's, he's a bargain. Um, if he plays, yeah, I, 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 again, I like him. I'm considering him as an option this week. So, But I, I, I like to put him hot, he's a hot pick. Maybe, like... Um, you know, a cheap, cheap but hot. Maybe like a, a hot tin curry. <laughs> Bernardo Silva for me, he's a he's lemon and herb. Uh, he hasn't had he's had one assist in the last seven game weeks since you know Foden, Kevin De Bruyne have returned. He's playing a little bit more deeper, going back to that role, which is it's still he's still a, a, the linchpin to that man sitting midfield. That movement, the creativity, but. Yeah, he's he's not going in the same same attacking spaces as maybe he did uh, several weeks ago. So yeah, if you if you've got him, you hold him, but you won't be bringing him in him in this week. Yeah, he did well against uh, Norwich last time out, didn't he? He had uh, two goals and an assist. Um, I mean, he's he's in form. I think I've been really imp impressed by Palace uh, this season and the Vera. I think. You know, looking at his record, I th yeah, I think he's a hot pick this week. Actually, I really like him. I think Norwich have been a they've looked pretty good the last couple of weeks, but it's going to be a close game. But I, I think I think Edward will be on the on the on the score sheet this week. This week, yeah, I fancy him. He's a good pick, hot. Um, Broha, um, for me. This, I, I love this guy. I think he's he's one who's on my plans for future game weeks. But the way Conte has maybe tightened up that Spurs defence, this isn't the week to get him. He's Lemon and Herb. Avoid. Yeah, he, well, he's had a he had a dream start last week. Um, Luca Dean, I think, I think he really impressed. But this week, he's up against obviously he's. he's He's going to be tasked with marking Rafinha, which means maybe he's not going to be given the green light to get forward as much as, as owners would like. Um, that said, you know, he's on set pieces. When he does get forward, he can put in a, a, a nice little cross and that leads back line isn't exactly the strongest. Um, yeah, he's medium hot for me, I think. I, I do really like him, but the worry that he'll be tasked with Mark in Rafinha, who is obviously the Leeds talisman, he could even come away with the yellow card, and that's my worry. So, yeah, me medium. Let's go medium. Yeah, for me, he's, he's, a, he's a lovely hot pick. Um, I can't quite get to him right now, but, I mean, three assists in the last two game weeks following the suspension. Um, and with the arrival of, of Luis Diaz, um, it puts some of those attacking players as... as you know, they could be rotated quite easily moving forward. So I, I quite like, obviously, most people will have Trent already. I quite like that double-up of Trent and Robertson going forward. I think that's that's a 
that's a tasty little proposition. I think he's, he's a hot pick this week against a Leicester team that's been leaking goals. Yeah, so he's been arguably one of the goalkeepers, you know, the keeper of the season so far, perhaps, uh, him and Ramsdale. But funny enough, Ramsdale plays against him this week. But I think I think Arsenal score uh, in this one. I don't see a clean sheet for, for Saar. Uh, ordinarily, he'd be a he'd be a spicy pick, but not this week. I think I think he's one to avoid. Lemon and Herb. So yeah, you've been watching FPL Corf. That was my source meter. Make sure you like and subscribe and get involved uh, in the comments. Uh, yeah, you're watching Chasing Green Arrows.